Hi, today <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to use GDAL to scale and to edit your raster data. I will be using Linux, so fire up your favorite distro and open up a shell. I will be using Ubuntu for this tutorial. So let's start. Okay. Currently I'm using Ubuntu under the WSL uh, Windows uh, Linux system. And the first thing we are going to do is to install the GDAL package. Type sudo apt install gdal bin type your password okay perfect good okay now we are gonna use gdal translate which has pretty wide input and we can see some of the the feature here and but basically the whole thing works like GDAL translate options input output options are a lot as you can see here but the most common thing to do is to change the raster format so we can for instance using use the OF flag with um, PNG, JPEG, BMP, PDF, JPEG 2000, and so on. Uh, many other um, formats. So mm, let's make an example. GDAL translate. I want to uh, currently have a GeoTIFF in my path here called the sample TIFF. So I'm gonna translate it to JPEG and the sample TIFF to sample JPG. Okay. Uh, oh, this is telling me that the JPEG driver does not support data type uh, uh, to 16 bits. So only the bands with 8 bit will be supported. Okay, let's take a look of what happened. Oh, something happened. The starting uh, raster was this. Currently, this is the 16-bit uh, uh, gray channel. Let's take a look to... Okay, we're using GDAL info we can know something about the file we are working on. So let's take a look. We have, let's make it like this. Okay, we have a GeoTIFF called Sample TIFF, when dimension is 8000 and 4000. The CRS is uh, Four, three, two, six. It's uh, the the datum of the whole Earth. The origin is at the corner of uh, uh, in, to the top left corner, and the pixel size is zero dot zero four three, and so on. We have also information about the bands and we have four type of bands with as you can see the block time box size is currently uh, there are there are four bands with uh, 16 assigned in the type and uh, in every of this we have some data we would like to understand so uh, we can given we know that we can sh for sure 
translate okay let me see a bit uh, we can take the band and um, shrink it using the ot format and one thing which is uh, really nice to do is to browse on gdal manual point your browser to gdal.org and we can see all the documentation here it's quite a lot so let's take a look to programs gdal programs you have all gdal programs click gdal translate and you as you can see you can know everything about gdal it's a lot of information so i'll um, let it um, take a look for uh, by yourself and a common thing to do is to extract a single band and to put it on an external file also uh, we can add um, some scale information so for instance this is quite a large geotiff we can scale it and we can do it using gdal translate with the outside outside um, option currently the outside option has two parameters but and uh, you can set the uh, both to 50 percent for instance and you can also let it uh, compute the um, the proportion the aspect keeping the aspect ratio so uh, we can uh, for instance do a 50 percent reduction of the file sample tiff and call sample to tiff okay let it okay perfect so let it open oh perfect as you can see we have the uh, both file here but the zoom has changed so this is uh, this is half of this okay one other one thing that is quite interesting is the possibility to extract single band so okay let's type again it's better do it uh, let's take the band zero and to sample uh, teeth for sample p zero teeth oh it's it starts from one okay perfect let's extract all the bands b1 well b2 so let's move the sample b0 to the sample b1 tip perfect now the band the band number three and the band number four perfect let's consider now another file which we can be we can see in gda info is sample nether tiff this is another file always a jot tiff Five is 1001 per 1001. It's located in the UTM zone 31 north under the WGS 84 uh, datum. And we have three bands. Here, color interpolation is actually uh, telling me that this is gray and those are undefined. But currently this is an RGB um, raster and you can fire QGIS and open it and as you can see it's located on the Netherlands and actually has 
uh, is colored. So if I pick something, I see the color value of each band. Let's figure out how to convert it to JPEG. In order to do this, we have to GDAL translate to 40 bytes. Output format OF is JPEG. The scale from 0 to 16 bits is now to 255. Uh, sample nethers. GIF, uh, TIFF, now sample nether J, JPG. Okay, let's open it. And open it, we will open it with the uh, earphone view first. As you can see, it's very dark. But the one we have opened in UJS is quite good with color. So drag it. As you can see, the converted file is uh, pretty dark, so, but if we double click this, we can see something in the symbology, which is the band rendering, which is actually from 0 to 25 and has an option called contrast announcement. Let's move it to stretch it to the min max. As we can see, something happened here because we have now a really little resolution here. But if we take a look to this one, we have we could set to no announcement here, which actually makes it really dark. So when you convert between scales, you have to know which are the starting point and the ending point in order to preserve the, the rendering type. So if we stretch and clip, we have now this look. If we clip to the min max, we have another look. So the stretch to the min max is the good value to use but it's this is not the real data in uh, in the in the file this is an elaborated version by qjs also you can change the multiband so every band can have a color and a different value so let's be aware of this we have seen here how to uh, work with uh, raster data using GDAL and everything you can do in GDAL you can also do it in the QJS but this is this will be another uh, video where I show you how to do some uh, raster analysis in QJS don't remember to subscribe to avoid losing tips about GIS, QGIS, and just special data processing in general. So, thank you for listening and goodbye.